it's Eva here welcome to my channel and welcome to a brand new Sims 4 speed build and in today's video we are building a luxury penthouse in the middle of San Myshuna. just because I've been really in the penthouse mood especially with like a New York vibe um, so yeah I decided to build this three-story penthouse um, on the Fountain View penthouse lot like I said the style was very much inspired by um, penthouses in New York and also like the the architecture in New York um, and that's also in huge parts due to the new windows from Charlie Pancakes with the rounded arches I love those windows they're really really pretty um, sash windows there's also um, square ones so there's not just rounded ones and I did combine the two so we have square on the lower level and then rounded on all the other levels um, and what I wanted to create was this really impressive window front with those beautiful beautiful arched windows um, of like three right next to each other in the middle to create this really beautiful um, amazing view from inside it looks absolutely stunning to look out and see all the skyscrapers and all the tall buildings of San Myshuno it's really really pretty and obviously the sunlight can flow in beautifully through those windows I used those new windows by Charlie Pancakes already in my last build um, where I built the New York brownstone townhouses um, and yeah it definitely gives me like a New York vibe but it's not just that like it's very very versatile um because there's so many different shapes and sizes and all sorts so um there's plenty of like different variety and i'll definitely be using those a lot more in the future i love them so much and i combine them with a lot of wall decor by felixander um for example there's like curved trims above each window um and other little bits and bobs that are all from Felixander, the, the columns, the, the trims, lots of little details to make this build feel less um, boring and, and stale and um, to kind of give it a little bit of character um, and depth as well as per usual. And like I said, it's a three story penthouse with the kitchen and living room and dining room on the top floor. And then we have a um, bedroom and bathroom on the middle floor and then a, another bedroom and a kind of office slash uh, lounge area on the bottom floor as well and then a, a huge terrace as well um, with lots of places to lounge and chill out there um, but yeah the interior style that I wanted to go for was a very luxurious style that feels like warm and inviting as well as luxurious um, because I don't really like using too many cold um, um, materials because they're like luxurious for example like marble marbles are very very beautiful material but can feel really cold um, so I did combine it with a lot of dark brown wood so especially the flooring the flooring is from the octave set by Harry I really love that color flooring as well it's like such a beautiful like mid brown um, and with the kitchen cabinets for example and kitchen counters I decided to go for this really dark brown um, color with marble countertops so they kind of it's kind of like a balance um, not too much of, of either the counters that I used are from the brownstone set by Harry I love that pack so much and I love those counters to bits um, and I really love the marble pattern on these I think it's my favorite marble pattern I've ever seen um, in terms of CC it's so 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 pretty and I love 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 using that um, as much as possible it's so detailed and so realistic and um, just absolutely stunning um, I really wish we had more um, items with that marble as well to like match but um because I really wanted a cool marble backsplash here I decided to go for the um, shelves that come with the brownstone set as well because they have a marble swatch as well like multiple but the same one that I used for the countertops here um, and just flip them and use them as a backsplash to create like the illusion as if the countertops and the backsplash are like connected um, to create like a really beautiful and dramatic look I am obsessed with it and I love this marble pattern and like I said it's so 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 pretty and then I opposed that like white marble and the dark brown wood with a black stone island by Charlie Pancakes from the Munch set I love that island so much they're one of my favorite counters for like a statement island um, and because I really wanted to create like a, a really cool and interesting detail there I also added some slim counters from the home office set by Illogical Sims because they 
um, have like a waterfall edge um, made out of wood and I added those in front of the uh, munch counters and it's like a cool little area for um, your sims to sit instead of at the actual stone island and it adds like a cool detail to the, this entire kitchen and it matches also in terms of the wood colour. And then in the dining room I again wanted to use a lot of marble here um, and used a dining table by Tuds. I love this dining table so much, it's so elegant and versatile as well. There's so many swatches and I also did use lights by Tuds in the kitchen. Um, Tuds does like the, the most beautiful and elegant and aesthetic lights. Absolutely beautiful. But then the next highlight in this build is the living room where I used the new Octave sofa by Harry. So the newest part of the Octave set um, came with these beautiful sofas, some of which have like a, a wooden um, table included in them and it's so 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 aesthetic, so pretty um, and really really versatile as well. There's so many different swatches, there's a really cool pastel coloured swatch and a really bright blue which I'm obsessed with and I will have to create a colourful build now because I love those colourful swatches and that's saying something because I don't usually love colour too much but those swatches are absolutely beautiful so I really want to use um, those in a new build but yeah for here I went for a classic white and then a, a dark brown wood for the tables and like table sides and there's also really pretty cushions that you can place individually um, really like that's just something we've needed in the sims in terms of like um sofa cushions those are really 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 cool and also part of that set is like an audio system and a a record player which is so cute and i use that in this build and then i also used a new set by my shuno san which is like office items but i fell in love with this shelf it's like a marble and wood shelf and it really fit the the aesthetic of this penthouse so obviously had to use this um here in pretty much every room <laughs> Um, it's so cool and I cluttered it with lots of books and and vases and decor and everything. It looks so beautiful. Before we move into the bedroom, I just want to quickly say I really hope you're enjoying this video and are enjoying how this build looks and like liking the style of this penthouse. Um, and if you do, then please show your support by liking the video down below and also subscribing and maybe leaving a cute little comment. That really, really means a lot to me. Um, but yeah, like I said, let's move on to the bedroom because um, this video is not very long and I need to fit in a lot of detail. But yeah, here I used a bed by Grim Cookies, which is one of my favorite beds because of this beautiful like duvet that looks like it's really like flowing and f beautifully falling on the side of um, the bed. I really love that. Um, and then I used some side tables by Tuds. Really love those as well. And then to show the versatility of this new Octave sofa by Harry, um, I kind of experimented with, with it here and um, arranged it in a different way than it was um, upstairs in the living room. So I created like a cool nook in one of the corners with like all the tall windows there. So you can literally just chill on that sofa and look out directly through those windows. I think I use that sofa on every single floor. There's like different versions of this sofa um, just because I, it, was, it was new and I really wanted to experiment with it and it was so fun um, because of all the different um, little bits and bobs. There's like separate table parts as well that you can add. Um, yeah, it's really, really cool. Um, but then in the bathroom, I uh, so it's like an open walk-in from the bedroom. There's like an open wall dividing um, the two um, and there is a open walk-in shower that I divided by like using a wooden wallpaper and some really beautiful white tiles from the Brutalist set by Harry and again adding like little bits of marble here and there um, with those same counters uh, for the sinks and everything and I love using that brownstone sink with the brownstone um, counters because there is a marble swatch for that sink that fits like perfectly with the countertops and it looks like it's part of the counters. It's so, so, so cool. I love it so much. And then we also have a freestanding tub moment in there, which is so cool. And I, it just makes me want to go have a bath right there and just look out the window. And then there's another bedroom, like I said. So um, the that's on the lower ground. There's a second bedroom um, with a another freestanding tub as well, which it looks so, so, so cool. Um, just like its own feature moment, um, even though there isn't like really a bathroom. It's just this freestanding standing tub and I love it. Also in that bedroom I went for a um, little bit of a different look in terms of the the bedroom. Um, I used a bed by 
Canary Sim, um, which is like my favorite bed ever. I love that bed frame to death. And then a huge mirror above the bed. Um, and again, the same um, floating side tables by Tuds and the beautiful shelf from the new set by my Shuna Sun, which I couldn't stop using because it's so perfect for this build. Um, and then there's a cute little lounge as well with again, the Octave sofa by Harry in a different arrangement. Plus there is also a desk and there is huge, huge sliding doors from the Harlux set by Felix and Harry that lead out onto the terrace which is like a huge multi-level terrace. Um, so partly with um, tiles, partly with wood. And just like I wanted to create like kind of sections to divide this like huge terrace because otherwise it would look really flat and really boring. So we have like a little alfresco dining setup um, on one level with some lounge chairs as well. Um, and then there's another version of the Octave sofa for the exterior because it proves how versatile this sofa is um, and it just looks so pretty like on a terrace or in a garden and stuff as well because of those little side tables. I just think they add like such a cute little, little realistic touch because I love like adding those low wooden tables to outdoor furniture um, and it was perfect here so yeah there's another version of that sofa and then there's also a hot tub which I sized down a bit because it's too too big in my opinion it just looks very overwhelming but the, the good thing is like it's still usable even if you size down a hot tub and it, it doesn't look too weird but yeah that is everything for today's video I really hope you enjoyed watching the video and obviously the tour is still coming up so please stick around for that I really appreciate that um and yeah I just I can't wait to hear what your thoughts are on this build in the comments below and then um yeah we'll see you again next Wednesday with a brand new Sims 4 speed build bye